the Horror Road of Saratoga, Texas. Curiosity, however, had a tight grip on me, urging me forward. It's just an urban legend, I muttered to myself, trying to muster some courage. I had always been drawn to the supernatural and the unexplained, but little did I know that tonight, I would face the true horrors that awaited me on this cursed road. As I entered the darkness of the woods that surrounded the road, a chill ran down my spine. The dense foliage seemed to close in around me, and the sound of my car's engine echoed eerily in the silence. It wasn't long before strange things began to happen. First, my radio started to act up, switching stations on its own, playing snippets of eerie melodies and distorted voices. I tried to turn it off, but it wouldn't respond. The hair on the back of my neck stood on end, and I felt a shiver crawl up my spine. The road ahead seemed to stretch endlessly, and I could barely see more than a few feet in front of me. The air inside the car grew colder, and I could see my breath forming misty cloud. Despite the heater being on, the cold seemed to seep through the metal of the car. Suddenly, the headlights flickered, and then they died completely, plunging me into complete darkness. Panic surged through me as I fumbled for my phone to use as a flashlight. But as soon as I switched on the phone's light, I wished I hadn't. Figures, shadows, and unnatural shapes danced in the beam of light, moving just beyond my line of sight. My heart raced as I tried to focus on the road ahead, desperate to get out of this nightmare. But every time I turned a corner, the road seemed to lead me back to where I started. Time lost all meaning, and I felt like I was trapped in an endless loop of darkness and terror. The road seemed to be playing with me, taunting me, and mocking my attempts to escape its clutches. My mind started to play tricks on me, and I couldn't trust what I was seeing anymore. The feeling of being watched intensified, and I could feel a malevolent presence closing in on me. Every fiber of my being screamed at me to leave, to escape this cursed road. But no matter how fast I drove, the road seemed to elongate, stretching into infinity. Just when I thought I couldn't bear it any longer, the darkness gave way to a faint glow in the distance. I accelerated towards it, praying for it to be the end of this torment. As I approached, I saw an old abandoned house bathed in an otherworldly light. My heart pounded in my chest as I parked the car and stepped out. The air around the house was heavy with an aura. The sight before me was both haunting and mesmerizing. The house seemed to be pulsating with an ancient energy, and I felt drawn to it, as if an unseen force was pulling me inside. I stepped cautiously through the creaking doorway, and the moment my foot crossed the threshold, a deafening silence enveloped me. The atmosphere was stifling, and the walls seemed to breathe with a life of their own. The air smelled stale, tinged with the scent of decay. In the dim light, I could see ancient symbols etched into the walls surrounding a mysterious altar. Candles flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced on the walls. I realized with horror that this was a place of dark rituals and malevolent spirits. Just then, a cold hand touched my shoulder, and I turned to see a ghastly figure standing behind me. Its eyes were hollow, and its face twisted with agony. I couldn't move, paralyzed with fear as it reached out towards me. In that moment, I knew I had trespassed into a realm not meant for the living. I had awakened something malevolent, and now it hungered for my soul. With every ounce of strength left, I tore myself away and ran towards the exit. The woods outside seemed to have come alive with malevolent entities, their haunting wails echoing in my ears. I ran, not knowing where I was going, praying for an escape from this nightmare. It felt like an eternity, but finally, I saw the roads end in the distance. As I burst out onto the open road, the darkness seemed to retreat. The night air was cool, and I could see the first rays of dawn on the horizon. My heart still pounded in my chest, and I knew that I had survived something beyond explanation. From that day on, I vowed never to return to the horror road of Saratoga, Texas. I may have escaped with my life, but the horrors I experienced that night would stay with me forever. A chilling reminder that some mysteries are better left unsolved. The road had claimed its victims before, and I knew it would continue to claim more. The darkness that lurked there was far too powerful and malevolent for any mortal to face and survive. I left Saratoga, haunted by my experience, and with a newfound appreciation for the thin veil that separates the living from the dead.